Welcome to Inventory Management for Business Central training webinar. Today's presenter is Ankit Aurora. So uh, without further ado, I would like to present Anka. Anka, welcome and uh, thank you for helping us today with inventory management. Over to you. Thank you, Simon. So hello everyone. So today we're going to discuss about inventory management solution in Business Central. So I am Ankur Aroda. Basically, I'm a Business Central financial consultant. Uh, so uh, maybe let's discuss the agenda for today. So our agenda for today is item master overview, location master overview, then basic inventory and bin management and then transfer process and after that we're going to cover lot number and serial number tracking in business central and then automated stock counts functionality so uh, let's go to business central screen right now so this is actually our business central screen for an inventory user because this is an inventory profile that is why it is showing all the inventory related information in my home screen so like here if you see we have this settings button here so basically the idea is that i'll just show you how we can switch the profiles for example if the user is an accountant or if the user is for a pur pur purchase user or a sales user then how the user can switch the profiles like if i just click on those setting button then here there is an option for my settings if i click on this then uh, there is an because currently the role that is selected here is inventory manager but yes if i just click on these three dots then it will show us the list of available profiles and we can select from the available profiles let's say if it's an accountant or any other uh, business manager role so because currently we are in the inventory session so that's why i, I logged in as an inventory user so after that it is go, uh, going to give us all the relevant information for us at our home page it not only shows us shows us the re uh, relevant information it also shows us like uh, deliverables for today because let's say uh, if we are an inventory user and we would like to see our deliverables like for example sales orders for today that we need to ship it so that will also be available like this it is showing the count to us at the uh, uh, first screen and let's say if we just click on this screen then it will going to show us the details of the sale orders sales orders that needs to be delivered by today so in this way business central will helps us to provide us the relevant information based on the profile so uh, let's discuss our first topic for today which is item master overview like as I mentioned, it's an inventory profile. So all the available uh, pages will be available as shortcuts here. For example, if I click on this more, I will get the options to select the items. So if I just click on this items, then uh, uh, this uh, item list will be opened here like this. If I let's say click any one of the existing item, then system, then business central screen uh, will come up with the item card like this. So here, this is the so the first tab that is there in uh, this item master screen is uh, item. So in this item, that will have an information about the item. For example, first we can mention a number, item number, which is for which we can uh, we can give manually or we can specify some series. And then we have a description. In description, we can mention about uh, like what is that item exactly, like maybe what uh, uh, what type of item it is, and uh, it will talks about the item. And then we have a uh, field called type because Business Central system has the flexibility or the capability to uh, uh, to uh, pre uh, to do to even do the transaction with service or non inventory items as well so along with inventory it will take care of the service module as well as the non non inventory module it also for example if you are uh, buying any spare parts that may come under non inventory or for example if you are procuring any services so that will also be available from the item a module of business center that will going to give you much enhanced reporting 
and then we have a base unit of measure so base unit of measure can be set up in the item card so that our inventory will be maintained in that unit of measure uh, so sales and purchase can be done in different units of measures but yes uh, inventory will always going to be maintained in the base unit of measure and then we have this field called item category code so we can just prepare and tag this with all our items to group all our inventory report and filters according to the item category code field and then we have a tab called inventory so maybe let me just first collapse this tab so then i'll just come to this tab which is called inventory so here if we have some shelf numbers so that can also be maintained at the item master and uh, and then in this particular tab we will get the information about the inventory so which is uh, coming in the inventory uh, field if we let's say click on this inventory field that will going to give us the details about the inventory like how this number is coming for example we made it some purchase orders some sales orders some adjustments so all these details will reflect here after that we have the quantity on purchase orders quantity on sales order so business central system has also has the flexibility that it will allows you the picture of your projected inventory as well because definitely this uh, quantity on purchase orders and quantity on sales order is not your current inventory but when these orders will be processed and the grns will be done then it will become part of uh, the inventory so what does it means exactly that it is along with the current inventory figures it will allow always give us some picture on the uh, uh, this unposted inventory also which will make your projected inventory balance and then we have the uh, unit volume related information that can be mentioned for information purpose and also business central system has the flexibility if you would like to receive more than the order quantity so that scenario can also be handled in business central so after that we have this cost and posting tab that will have a costing and uh, posting groups related information so in this uh, costing method business central system has the flexibility to uh, men to maintain the inventory costing as well as uh, preparation of cost of goods sold based on fifo lifo specific average and standard costing method so according to uh, organization's accounting principles this costing method can be selected and a cost of goods sold and inventory can be maintained according to the requirement and then we have this field for unit cost because ultimately when we do any procurement or or any uh, inventory related transactions then business central system will uh, update this field automatically and then we have the posting uh, uh, posting group related details so this general product posting groups is there so that as and when we uh, make any inventory related transaction all our um, financials will be booked correctly and then we have the inventory posting group which is available here from inventory point of view so um, uh, so the first benefit of the inventory posting group is all our inventory reports will be grouped according to this and all our inventory related balance sheet account can be prepared for example if there are multiple types of inventory that an organization is maintaining so multiple inventory posting groups can be maintained so that uh, our, all our financials will also reflect a correct picture of inventory values but yes that can also be used for reporting purpose as well like for grouping of reports grouping of inventory reports and filtration of inventory reports so after that we have the price and sales tab let me just collapse this tab and we'll expand this one so this price and sales we have a first of all we have this unit price here so this in this unit price we can uh, uh, set up the default price that will go automatically in the orders uh, and we also have the sales price list as well but yes this can be used if we would like to set up only a default price then this will be used so because we have a costing information available in the item master so based on that system will ascertain what is the margin percentage on sales uh, 
and then we have a sales unit of measure so we can set up a sales unit of measure as we have mentioned that uh, purchase and sales can be done in different unit of measures only so business central system has the flexibility to uh, maintain multiple unit of measures so after that we have a field called sales blocked so if sometimes there may be some requirements that sales for a particular item needs to be blocked for temporary or permanent purposes so that can also be done using this sales blocked feature and after that we have a tab called replenishment here so this replenishment tab uh, so the first field that is available here is this replenishment system that will talks about the item for example whether this item is a purchase item or this item is the production item or that item is an assembly item so it means business central system has uh, the flexibility to manage all an organization's manufacturing operations production operations as well as assembly operations as well so if there is any requirement so that can also be handled as part of this inventory management solution but yes that will be part of advanced inventory management solution and here we can set up a by default purchase unit of measure and similar type of a feature is available for purchase blocking as well so if some item needs to be blocked for uh, a temporary or permanent temporary or permanent for a purchase transaction so that can also be done using this purchasing blocked feature and after that we have policies like assembly policies like assemble to stock or assemble to order so if you would like to schedule our uh, operations based on stocking or based on order so that flexibility is also available with the business central so maybe after that we may proceed with the planning tab so uh, basically uh, business central system is a very advanced system in terms of inventory so that not only allows us to track and uh, manage our inventory it also allows us to set the um, uh, optimum inventory levels uh, that will help us to reduce our inventory costing as well but yes that will be part of uh, advanced inventory management solution that these type of policies can be set from planning point of view so that we will be able to achieve the optimum inventory levels that will allow us to reduce our inventory costing but yes that will be part of advanced inventory management solution but is these type of policies can be set according to organization's requirement and after that we have a tab called inventory tracking so definitely i'll going to talk about this tab separately as we have a separate topic available for item tracking like which is which we have discussed like serial number tracking or lot number tracking so that will also be available in business central and after that we have a tab called warehouse which is here so if in terms of uh, a warehouse also if the organization may have uh, sometimes the organization may have requirements for warehousing module as well so if there is any such requirement then that can also be handled using the business central solution so along with that if required if you would like to uh, attach any attachments uh, like for example any files or something so that can be handled using this attachments we will be able to upload the documents and also in this details tab the uh, we will be also able upload the pictures as well like for example i just uploaded the chair picture here so that can also be attached here like this so and this is about our first topic for today so our next topic for today is location master overview so let me go to the location screens i'll just go back using this back button and then i can go to my home screen by clicking on this company name so once i click on company name so i just came back to my home screen so i can go to location masters i'll just simply click on this more and after that i can click on locations here so once i click on locations so once i click on locations it will going to open a location list basically the company may have warehouses in uh, multiple uh, locations like they have uh, the company may have warehouse in sydney in perth naples pain queensland or any other location or may have multiple warehouses in the uh, in one location so that can also be done we, the only thing is we need to prepare all these uh, warehouses as a 
separate locations here so that inventory can be tracked for those locations maybe let me going to open an existing location card so once i open that location card then system will open all the information so the first tab that is avail available here is general tab so in this general tab we can give a code as well as a name the code will be a manual number and the name will be the location description from which we will be able to easily track that location so whatever is convenient for us we can give that and then we have uh, the option to uh, select the location as use as in transit it means that business central system has the flexibility to also maintain the in transit inventory as well so definitely in detail we will going to cover how we will going to track this inventory uh, in transit inventory after that we have a tab called address and contact that will have all the address and contact related information the purpose of this tab is that uh, once we print any outward or inward document from business central it will going to pick all the address and contact related information from this tab so uh, so after that we have a tab called warehousing so in this warehousing tab uh, if organization have any uh, uh, operations which is related to warehouse like for example warehouse picking slip generation or uh, put a waste generation so all these uh, all these kind of uh, um, uh, processes are available in business central so and also if there is any requirement to uh, manage bin wise inventory so that is also here so we will be able to use this bin mandatory option as well and then our inventory goal will going to be maintained in bins so uh, after that we have a tab called bins so in this bins tab if there is any uh, default bins we would like to set up so that can also be set up like for example receiving area or shipping area or shop floor production area so all these uh, all these kind of stuff can be set up using this bins tab but yes that will be part of advanced inventory management solution and then we have a tab called bin policies so in that bin policies we will be able to set up like if there is any specific bin policies we would like to set up for example to check some capacities or never check capacities but yes that will be part of advanced inventory management solution so our next topic for today is basic inventory management and bin management so maybe let me first before starting a new topic let me go to the home screen i'll just click on this button to go back and then i can click on the company name to go back to my home screen so to start with basic inventory management solution in business central i need to first prepare a purchase order as a purchase user and then i can prepare a grn from that so maybe for that I can go to the purchase order page. I can click on more So the purchase orders is there. I can simply click on this and once I click on this I can click on new to prepare a new purchase order So once I click enter then system will generate a number So here there is a vendor name. I can click on these three dots to get the list of suppliers So out of this I can pick one supplier from here like this so uh, business central system has also has this flexibility that uh, we can prepare some templates for for orders and we can pick those templates so maybe I can use that feature to prepare to automatically prepare a purchase order like if I just go to more options and then actions and then I can go to functions and then there is an option for us to get the recurring template lines which is get recurring purchase lines I can click on this so once we can click on this we can select the template from the list of available templates I can click on this one so once I select this one then my uh, uh, purchase lines will come automatically here like this and we can let's say just update some quantity how whatever quantity we would like to update so once that is done then our purchase order is prepared so we can also generate the item inventory purchase order from the system like we have the print send option is here we can go to the print and then we can 
generate a purchase order report from business central so that we will be able to send this to our suppliers and also if you would like to uh, send this directly to the vendor so that option is also available like if we go to this print send we have this send button if we click on this send then it will go to our vendors directly from business central uh, so maybe let me just process a receipt from this particular order i'll click on this posting and then i can click on post and then we have the receive option so once we receive this purchase order so i can click ok so once that process is completed then there is a field available here called quantity received it will be updated because i have processed a grn so again the next step is if you would like to generate a printout from business central then what we can do we can go to the navigate here and then there is a receipts option so once we click on this receipts then it will going to show us the link of uh, show us all the linked receipts which is linked to this particular purchase order and if you would like to let's say generate a printout we can click on this print send and then we can click on print and then we can preview then it will show us the receipt printout like this so once that is done maybe i can go back to my purchase order so i'll click on close and then close and then i will go back so uh, so because we have already done the receipt maybe let us try to understand how it will look like in our item ledger and how our inventory is going to be updated and where we can see all that information so maybe let me go to my item from here like this is my item if i just click on this drill down then the item uh, list screen will come i can click on this search from full list and then i can click on those three dots and then manage and then edit so now my item list will open and because i already put a receipt so my inventory is already updated here and if i would like to see my warehouse wise inventory i can simply click on those three dots and it will show me the summary inventory of all the warehouses like how much is the inventory available with east warehouse how much of the inventory available with main warehouse how much of the inventory available with west warehouse so system will going to show us all the information and let's say if we would like to see the transactions like how this 32 inventory is coming so we can simply click on this value and it will show us the list of all the transaction like the transaction that we did recently is this transaction which is showing us that transaction with quantity and everything and the costing as well so basically this is the way it will look like in our inventory ledgers with all required information like costing as well as our inventory also so maybe i'll just go back to purchase order so this is the way we can process a grn document from purchase order so now maybe i uh, the next process that we will cover as part of basic inventory is i can go and prepare a sales order and we will see like how we can build that inventory to the customer so let me go to the home screen for that so i'll just click on company name so here i can click on more and we have the option for sales orders here I can click on the sales order so once i click on sales orders then system will open this sales order list screen because i would like to prepare a new sales order i can click on new so once i click on new then system will open this sales order form once i click on enter then it will generate a number like this so here from a list of customers like if i just click on the three dots then it will open a list of customers so from the list of customers let's say i would select this customer so once i select this customer the second thing is because that same type of process is available here also if we would like to prepare the sales order automatically we have the template feature i can simply go to this prepare and then we have this get recurring sales line i can select a required template from the list of templates so once i select a template then the items will come automatically here and then here let's say i will update some quantity like i just updated five quantity here and then price is coming from the price list 
so here we have this quantity to ship so before we process a shipment to the customer we need to update this quantity to ship let's say if there is any changes we can just amend this quantity to ship to process for shipment and invoicing to the customer so the next step here is we can simply go to posting and then we can go to post and then we can ship that inventory to the customer so once we ship that inventory to the customer then the shipment document will be generated that can be printed from the system like if i just go to navigate and then we will go to shipments and then we can take a print out of the shipment document from here like we if we click on print and then preview then we will be able to see our shipment document here like this that will show us all the re relevant information about the customer and also our company information along with the details of items so business central system not only takes care of our accounting uh, it will also help us to send the invoice to the customer also like we can just click on one button it what then what system will do is system will send, do all the accounting related work and everything and along with that it will also send the invoice to the customer like if i just go to this posting we have this post and send feature so what that post and send feature will do is along with posting of an invoice it will also allows us to send the invoice to the customer like if i just click on this post and send then we are getting that option we just need to click yes here and then we can click on ship and invoice so once we click on ship and invoice then what system is doing is along with that system has already raised us shared the invoice to the customer and so in this way our process of basic inventory will be done like we can prepare a purchase order and then from using the sales order we can also ship that inventory and also it will going to automatically update our inventory so maybe for that purpose we can go to the item and we can see like how it will look like in the in item ledger so like if i just go to home screen using this button and after that i can go to the items using this more and we have items if I go to items, I can just go to my item here. So now it has updated the inventory. And if we let's say click on those three dots, we will be able to see that, okay, that this East warehouse inventory is updated. So uh, we can go to the next topic. So our next topic for today is transfer process. So maybe for that, let me go to home screen first. I'll go back and then i'll click on this button to go back to home screen so we have the process of transfer orders here so maybe let me click on this transfer orders so once i click on transfer orders then it will going to open a list of all the transfer orders which are open so basically what is the purpose of transfer order because we may have multiple locations in our organization so if you would like to transfer from one location to another location then this process will be used for from request point of view also and also when we transfer from one location to another location then also the outward chalan can also be generated from this system so if i click on new then system will open this new transfer order form once i click enter then this new number will be generated and then we can specify transfer from code from where we are transferring the inventory so let's say if i select my east location and then transfer to coast i can i would select let's say west location here we need to select in transit code as well because um, uh, uh, system will going to track our in transit inventory also for example if inventory is shipped let's say from east location but it has not yet reached then it will reflect in our in transit location so for that purpose we need to select this in transit location and then here we can select a list of items that we need to uh, send that we need to send from one location to another location let me just select this item which is my paris guest chair black and then here we will just update the quantity let's say i'll just update five quantity here so once i update five quantity here then it will going to automatically update my quantity to ship so the next step is that ultimately if we want to generate any request form like a order form so that also can be generated using this print send feature we can simply click on print and then we can click on preview so once we click on preview that will prepare a 
a kind of request form that can be used internally like from requisition point of view so once we are ready for shipment from our location so what we can do we can uh, like because we have already updated this quantity to ship we can go to posting and then we can click on post and then we have the option for ship here we can simply click on ok from here so once we click ok then system will up, uh, do this shipment and also system will update against this order that this five quantity is already shipped that's why the quantity shipped is updated as five here and if you would like to generate a document like an outward document that can also be generated we can go to the navigate and then we have the shipments button once we click on the shipments button it will going to show us the linked shipment which is linked with this order and then we can open this particular transfer shipment and then we can also take a printout from here by going to this process we can click on print and once we click on print we can click on the preview and then we will be able to generate a transfer shipment from the system that will have all the required required information like description of items as well as the uh, or both the locations address like for example i am shifting from east location to west location so it is showing the east location information here and west location information here so uh, ultimately till the time the item is not uh, uh, received at the west location it will going to remain in transit like if i just go to items and i can just click on search from full list and then three dots and then manage and then edit so it will it will show that inventory value here and i will be able if i click on this particular inventory value then i will be able to see that currently that inventory is available in in transit location because here the location code is the in transit location code it means that it's already shipped from inventory but it yet not reached uh, the west location so ultimately for example now if we have received inventory at the west location that what we need to do is we can simply go to our transfer orders like i'm at my transfer order right now i can click on posting and then i can click on post and then the receive option is here i can simply click on ok because once i receive then this transfer order is completed that's why system will delete this transfer order from this particular screen and then all my uh, posted documents like my posted transfer shipments and receipts will be maintained maybe let me just uh, uh, briefly show that screen like if i just go to my home screen i can search for posted transfer receipts so like if i just go to post a transfer receipts that will going to show me all the required information if i let's say click on this then it will show me that okay that this particular quantity is been received along with that it will also have the reference of our transfer order number as well so ultimately uh, our next topic for today is lot number and cl number tracking so maybe before starting the topic let me go back to the home screen so i'll just click on this back button and then okay so now i'm in the home screen so uh, this lot number and serial number tracking so basically it is almost similar with the process that we have covered basic inventory and bin management but uh, uh, we are covering this topic because sometimes there is a requirement for example in case of pharmaceutical companies there will be requirements to maintain uh, the inventory lot number wise the inventory expiry date wise because because business central system will not only help us for maintenance it is also used for control as well like for example it is very important for pharmaceutical companies that uh, they should not be able to ship or invoice the inventory which is already expired so that capability is available with business central so that we will be able to achieve using the lot number tracking and sometimes there is a requirement uh, like for uh, com companies who are engaged in the uh, business of um, heavy construction machineries so they will be they want to maintain their inventory serial number wise so that kind of uh, functionality is also available with business central so maybe for that first i need to uh, raise a purchase order for these type of items so maybe in uh, in that case i'll just click on this more and i can go to the purchase order screens from here i can click on purchase orders then i can click on new so once i click on new then system will open the screen i can click on enter 
and then system will generate a number and then after clicking on this three dots i will be able to see the list of suppliers and then i can pick one supplier from here after that i can just follow a same process like i can go to the actions from here and then functions and then we have this get recurring purchase lines maybe i'll just select my template for lot and serial number related items so basically i've just given a same kind of example that uh, it's a cross uh, maybe one item is crossing and the second item is let's say some heavy construction machinery but yes i think before we uh, process with the transaction maybe i i would like to show the item setup also like what we have done in addition to uh, the normal item master preparation like if i just uh, look out this item i can go to this item from here i'll click on the three dots and then edit so here we can see that we have specified the item tracking code here which is actually lot all expiry so once we will specify this type of this is already available in standard business central this type of template so we only need to select uh, this uh, item tracking code for lot specific tracking and then we can just specify a lot number as lot so this is just from setup point of view so we only need to define this one so that system can understand that for this particular item always the lot number and expiry date is required maybe in the similar way we can just review for the heavy construction machinery also like if i just click on uh, that item and then manage and then edit then system will open this item master like this and we have this information like this is a link for a serial number specific uh, serial number specific tracking so we just need to update that as in all here so that system can understand that serial number is always required for this item in all the transactions so ultimately this is the only setup required for us to do the lot tracking and the serial number tracking so after that uh, we i just came back to my purchase order screen so here we can just update the quantity let's say i'll just update some quantity here let's say 10 quantity and 2 quantity so ultimately this is the normal process that i have followed like i have followed earlier as well so what is the difference here so the difference is that for example this is my lot tracking item which is my uh, medicine tablet i can go to more options and then i can go to line and i can go to item tracking lines so because this is my lot item so i just need to mention the lot information along with the expiry date as well let's say i'll click on this item tracking lines i can just mention a lot number that i have received for this item and then we can just mention the expiry date let's say the expiry date of this medicine is 31st december 2021 we can mention here like this and then we can just update the quantity and then we can close the screen so the similar kind of process we need to follow for the second item as well like we can go to line we can go to item tracking lines and here we can just update the serial number because serial number is um, uh, basically pro to, needs to be provided for each and every item i mean each and every uh, inventory so we just need to mention a serial number here and then we can just mention a quantity as one because serial number is for each and every item and then we can just update let's say st02 for my second item and once that is done we can simply close that screen right so after that we can receive that inventory into the system so the process is exactly same like we can go to the posting and then we can click on this post and then we can click on receive so once we click on receive then system will going to prepare a grn for that and uh, so the important point here is we can go to the item and we can see how the inventory is coming in the item ledger like if i just go to this item and then i can click on search from full list and then i can click on those three dots and then manage and then edit then system will open this item master let's say if i click on this inventory value then i will be able to see that inventory with lot number information with expiry date information so in this way business central will allows you to manage your inventory with the lot number as well as the expiration dates so in the similar way we can also review the item ledgers for serial number tracking item as well like if i just go to this particular item 
and if, if I can just click on those three dots and then manage and then edit so we have this inventory available here if I click on this inventory quantity then I will be able to see that okay that this serial number and this serial number is available with us so we can review we will be able to maintain our inventory based on the serial numbers as well so in the similar way like we have provided this information like for our purchase uh, uh, in our purchase order so when we build to our customers so in the similar way we need to pick that information in the sales order so maybe i'll just go to the uh, go back to my home screen then i'll try to process a sales order from uh, this uh, system and let's say i'll go back to my home screen like i'll go back so this is my home screen i can click on more and then I can click on sales orders. So I'll simply click on new from here. And then I will click enter. I will select customer from here. So I can select this customer. And then I can simply go to prepare and I can get the template of items from this get recurring sales lines. And then I can select the template. So here. The items are there so uh, what I can do right now I can simply update the quantities first of all and then here I can just update like for example the quantity of two and then I can mention some price here so I'll just update the price so again the next point from inventory point of view which is here is we can simply select uh, the inventory before billing to the customer so like for that purpose I can go to the more options the steps are exactly same like we always need to go to item tracking lines only so for that purpose I can go to line and then I can go to this related information and then item tracking lines so once I go to item tracking line because this is the item with lot information so I can just click on those three dots from the lot number because I need to select the lot because we have already provided the information at the purchase site so here we only need to select the lot so i can go to this lot numbers i can click on those three dots which is here and then i can simply select because here system is telling that these two lots are available you want to uh, basically select which lot let's say i'm selecting this particular lot so system is also uh, suggesting us that the expiry date of this item is 31st december 2021 so we will just click ok and after that let's say if we would uh, in this the similar process we can follow for this serial number uh, item as well we can go to line and then we can go to related information and then we can go to item tracking lines here and then we will select the serial number here so i'll select let's say st01 and i can select st02 so once that is done we can simply close the screen and ultimately all the information we have provided like what serial numbers we are billing what lot we are billing so similar way we can simply click on posting and then we can click on post and then we can click on ship so once we click on ship then system will ship the goods to the customer and will update this quantity shipped here so the idea is that if we go and see our inventory ledgers maybe i'll just show like how the inventory ledgers will look and how system is maintaining the inventory so like if i just go to this particular item and then i can click on three dots and then i can click on manage and then edit then once i click on this inventory then we will be able to see that this particular lot we have sold like we will get our lot information here so we are getting our lot information here along with the expiry date as well and the sim in the similar way we are getting for serial number items as well like if i just go to my second item and then let's say if i click on edit from here then once i click on this inventory then i will be able to see that sn01 and let's say st01 and st02 we have already sold to the customer so this way we will be able to maintain and get our inventory based on the serial numbers as well so our next topic for today is automated stock stock counts so before i proceed to next topic maybe let me go back to the home screen first so i'll click on this course and then i'll go back from here then i'll close this one 
I'll go back and then once I click on company name, I'll be able to go back to my home screen. So this is my home screen. So in order to maintain the stock counts in the system, we have a very because ultimately as per company's policy, there will be sometimes stock counts going on like quarterly, monthly, weekly, whatever it is. So business central system has the flexibility like as and when the stock count uh, is required, then business, uh, then business central system will be able to manage that. So for that we have a screen available in system called physical inventory journals. So I can click on this physical inventory journals. So once I click on this, then this particular screen will open. So maybe I'll just expand the screen using this button. So now the screen is a bit en enhanced and then we have here we have a group called prepare. So in prepare we have this function called calculate inventory. So what that function will do is uh, system will calculate whatever inventory which is available into the system and then we can adjust as per our physical inventory. So we need to follow very simple steps like we can go to this calculate inventory. So once we go to calculate inventory, then we will be able to see this particular screen. We can just specify whatever is the posting date. Maybe let me just put a date for today. So just T is the shortcut. We can use this shortcut or we can just select uh, from the date uh, like this and then here it is just a document number. Let's say I'm just doing my stock take. So maybe I'll just give let's say document uh, number of stock take SEP 21. So after that we have these booleans called items not on inventory or include item without transaction. So it is not uh, required maybe while preparing this stock take sheet so that it will not take uh, the unnecessary item. So we need not to enable these things and after that uh, we have the option that if you would like to select the warehouse because sometimes it may happen we may do let's say stock take for one warehouse and the other warehouse at different point in time so we have the option that we can select that warehouse also for which we would like to proceed with the stock take because for different warehouse the stock take may happens at the different time right so once that is updated we can simply click on okay so once we click on okay then system will generate this sheet for us so basically this sheet is telling us that information that this is the item uh, item number this is the item description and this is the location which is our warehouse this is the quantity calculated so in this quantity calculated column system is telling us that this is the inventory currently available in the system and after that there is a field called quantity physical inventory so basically from our side is we only just need to mention whatever is our uh, physical inventory let's say for uh, this particular item i would say that inventory is 50 only and for the second item the inventory is 5 only but let's assume that the physical inventory of this guest chair is six, but in, in system it is currently showing seven. So I can just change to six. So once I change this to six, system will update that okay, one quantity adjustment uh, is uh, required. One quantity adjustment is required, and also automatically it will update the entry type as negative adjustment. And let's assume maybe in the second case uh, for the next inventory, which is my Mexico chair black is let's say two but currently in system it is showing one so maybe once i update this to two it will update your adjustment quantity as one and it will update your entry type as positive adjustment so that it will add to the inventory and uh, yes one more thing we need not to worry about cost so that system will take care it's only just the quantity that we need to just mention so basically from users point of view only this quantity physical inventory needs to be maintained and all other things will be maintained by the system so maybe once we have updated the physical inventory for all the items so the simple steps that we need to follow is we can go to the post and print and then we can click on post so once we click on post then system will ask for a confirmation that do you want to post the general lines i can click yes so once we click on yes then now our inventory for our east warehouse is uh, in the system is now exactly matching as per our physical inventory